Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Mod Source. Uh, we're back on the Diamond server today and we're going to be doing a lot of stuff and things in this episode. I've changed a couple of things over at the house, uh, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. Uh, but currently we're going to be borrowing Clip Addict's Blood Altar just momentarily. It's not like we're stealing a ton of stuff. He's got a well of suffering uh, with a ton of zombie things down here. So we're all good in that area. So he's just got his well of suffering going. I'm not sure how he's spawning them in. Looks like he's just got a spawner in the middle there. It's similar to something that we're probably going to end up doing. Um, but we're just coming over and borrowing his thing momentarily. And what we're doing is... Oh, there we go. All of our slates are done. Got 41 slates. Sweet. Uh, what we're doing is we're borrowing the dust tools. We're trying to upgrade our ritual div diviner. Diviner, Diviner, I don't know. It's one or the other. Um, but we need to drop two more of them in there. These are going to quickly fill up with life points, hopefully. And then we need to do it again, and then again. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to upgrade this. This one cannot place dust runes. This one can. Um, so if you have a look here, we need to get two demonic slates, which are done in a tier 4 altar, which we don't have. And I had to make some of these as well, which is also done in a tier 4 altar. So I made some of them. There you go, they went pretty quickly, and then we'll do that again. I wonder if he's got... Yeah, he's got one that can blaze dust runes. We kind of probably could have just borrowed that uh, just to complete our ritual. Uh, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a Well of Suffering ourselves over at the old basing. Um, also, one thing you probably notice is I am using a different texture pack today. Uh, I thought I'd give it a go. It's the Faithful Texture Pack. It's pretty much vanilla textures, uh, just in a more HD resolution. So I thought I'd give it a try and see how that works for us today. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, are they done? No. No, they're still in the imbued state. We need demonic. I think when them particle effects go, um, there you go. Ta da! Sweet. Right, we come over here. We've got crafting bench down here. Lovely, lovely. Just gonna get like that. I'm probably gonna do this the entire wrong way route. Yep. There we go. And now we've got one that can place. Um, let's have a look. This one can place dust runes, which means we should be able to finish it. Uh, Crusher speed, shepherd, suffering, there we go. Current ritual, well of suffering. Right, okay, so over at the house, as you can see, we have changed everything into swampland, and I love it. It looks absolutely fantastic. I've got, I'm gonna carry on over here. So I think a load of this is prairie in the middle still, maybe. Oh no, it looks like it might all be swampland now. Which is pretty nice, pretty nice. Sweet. Didn't realise it did all of it. So we got a little bit of prairies flashing up here and there around that coastal area. And we're probably going to get some river stuff here. River's fine. Savannah's over there, which is absolutely fine. And then we're just going to terraform a lot of this now into a swamp, nice swamp land. And it's going to look awesome. Um, I'm going to have a nice big tunnel underneath here. We're going to put some things here. we got to put beacons down here, basically, for our next tier, for tier 5. Uh, I've made holes in the ceiling for them already, so hopefully... Oh, where am I going? This is the way we want to go. All right, so let's run, 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 run. But yes, this is what I've been working on um, the past day or so. I've been working on our blood magic setup, and what we're going to do is... We had this big area here, which is like... Hi. And I was like, I don't know what I want to do with it. So what we've done is we've just, we're going to fill it in basically. I'm not sure if we're going to fill it, fill it in, or we're going to make it look nice. I might put like trees and just like a big lake area down there and make it look really, really cool. Not decided yet, so I'm not going to fill it in straight away. Uh, but above here, we're going to put some glass. So you're running down under the river. And then in here, we're going to have an extendable drawbridge out to here. And then when you're like, haven't got the drawbridge extended, it's just going to be open and it's going to look awesome um but yeah so that is pretty much what i've been working on that's pretty much the plan as well now uh, but if we jump on down here we should 
dusk dusk rooms do i have them on me yes i do have them yes they're placing place the last of them there you go it's going it's going i'm gonna stand in here because i know nothing gets placed here oh wait are we done yes Yes, 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 that is it. That is the Well of Suffering finished. Uh, so now... Oh, it's going to be super dark down here. Sorry, guys. Uh, let me just quickly sort that out. Um, boop. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, so now what we've got to do is we've got to clear all of this out, and then we're going to have mobs spawning down here. I was going to put a spawner, and I've just remembered, if you remember... Not last episode, but the episode before, where we made the grave error of trying to make um, a thing. And then the the uh, charge creeper come out and he's like, bam, bam, bam. Um, we got a load of cursed earth from that. And I remember using this setup before and having cursed earth below it. So we might give that a try again. Um, hopefully the well of suffering, there's no special animals, I don't think. And hopefully the Well of Suffering will take them all. So I remember the last mod pack I played, I had a huge problem with uh, Lycanite's mobs. And we're getting a load of them stuck in there. And one of them would literally break everything. And then you had to run around and try and kill all the mobs without them killing you. Such fun times. Such fun. Uh, but yeah, so. Let's have a look. We got like that. We've got a hole in the ceiling there for us to get out. But I want another one. <laughs> Uh, we're going to drop that down one more, I think. I have no idea why I'm lagging so much down here. It's crazy. Might be the texture pack. I've been getting like little lag spikes with the texture pack on. Let's have a go. Let's actually try turning it off and see if that fixes anything for us. Dun, 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 dun. Might be some settings I've got to twiddle about with. Um, so I can run with the texture pack on because it'd be quite nice. I do like that texture pack. It makes everything look a lot cleaner. But then again, I don't know. Vanilla, I've always been vanilla sort of texture packs. I've never sort of swayed away from them too much. Done? Wait, that's even worse. One three frames a second. Nope, for some reason we're still lagging down here. So it's not the texture pack. That's really weird. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's very peculiar. I don't know what's going to be causing that. Uh, I'll have to figure that out at some point. But hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. So there we go. We've got all of that down in there. Let's just quickly place that in there. That. And that and that. Oh, yeah, I haven't got my magnet on me, have I? <laughs> I was wondering, why aren't all the things coming to me? Right, there. And then, place it in. Place it in. Place it in. Uh, get rid of that, we can get rid of that. There's so much junk in my inventory. I really need to get back on with Mariculture as well, that little probe there reminded me of it. got blood bucket. Right, cool. I'll tell you what, I'm going to quickly relog. I'll be right back and see if that fixes any problems for us because this is getting a bit crazy now. So I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm going to relog and hopefully fix these frames. Hello and welcome back. So it doesn't seem like it did a lot, to be honest. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what's causing the problem and hopefully we can fix it. But for the most part, we are done, I do believe. So let's just quickly dig out this way. I'll tell you what, and then we're going to have like a little secret entrance down into the bottom of here. There'll be no other way to get there. Uh, just this way here. And this should, in theory, lead to the big cavern thing that we have. Oh, it leads right under it. <laughs> work how far down three blocks three blocks couple couple of blocks down anyway uh but that'll be fine we'll live with that so we'll have like a little entrance a spot spot bang in the middle of there which is perfect uh so we'll leave that like that cool 
just quickly fill this bad boy in. I'm gonna leave that in there. And you have a little entrance way down here. And then I'm not gonna do a huge room, I'm just gonna go one, two, three. Okay, I say I'm not gonna do a huge room, but every time I hit with this pickaxe, it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. One, two, cut two over there. There you go. And then we're going to chuck a load of stuff in there and we'll grab us some glass and we'll make like a little viewing room. Might actually extend it around the entire thing eventually, but for the time being, this is going to have to do us. Let's actually have a look. I think there's like blackout glass. I really, if we can get glass, it doesn't let light through, that's going to work out a lot better for us because I'm pretty sure you can get it. Dark glass. Yeah, thickened glass, which is what we're using. Yes. We just need to figure out how to make them curtains. Let's have a look again. Curtains. Oh, just a ton of wool. That's easy enough. Let's go here. Go crafting bench. And then go to wool. We've actually got a ton of black wool, so we might as well use all that. Let's just make a ton of it, shall we? And there we go. Load of blackout curtains. Inventory. Uh, place you in. And then how do we do this again? Pretty sure it's like that, like that, like that. Like that, and we're just gonna place that one there. And we're never now. It's the other bloody way around, isn't it? Yep, of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, right, go, go. What are you? What are you doing? We have twenty-five. We're gonna make that that many done okay so we've got some blacking glass now oh my god i can't deal with this lag it's horrible it only seems to be when i'm recording as well for some bizarre reason there we go there we go right cool so we grab that torch now oh so much crap on me I'm going to chuck so much stuff right into our bag right now because we so much we just don't need on us. Uh, but we kind of need on us. We need to keep that out. <laughs> right, so we're going to place you in there. Torch is going to come this way. Place another one down over there. And then once we get all this filled in, it should be a lot easier. Oh, I need to put this blood magic thing back. Um, I will remember to do that. Now, where's my resident thing? There it is. Right, cool. And then we're going to go into here and we're going to get Cursed Earth, which we have like two stacks of. Sweet. Come over here, place down one piece. That shouldn't cause too many problems. Want to up the radius to maximum. We done, we done, we done. Come on. Oh my god, I need to activate the ritual. Crapper. Crapper, crap, crapper. I forgot about that one. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let's get out of here. So we've got everything in there, that's fine. We've got the Cursed Earth going, which is pretty much what we wanted. It's all going. I can activate the ritual from here, I do believe. If I get a Ring of Far Reach, which is something that I wanted to do today, actually. Let's get away from this area, because that area just seems to be problems and problems and problems. I'm not sure. I might just need to reboot my entire computer before... 
But no, look, we're fine on the frames over here. It's just that area. Right, okay, so let's get back. Oh, I don't want that in there. So let's have a look into some Britannia. I want to get the Ring of Fire Reach anyway. Britannia. Right, where are you? Ring of Reach? Reach of Far? Great Fairy Ring. Ring of Far Reach. So to make the Ring of Far Reach, we need the Rune of Pride. To get the Rune of Pride, we need Fire and Summer. I think we looked at this before, actually. So we need to make, we got Rune of Fire, we need to make a Rune of Summer, which is going to take Air and Earth, two Sand, Slime Ball and Thing. We can do this, we got plenty of stuff to be able to do this. No problemo. Alright, so let's check Yellow Right. We don't need half of this stuff on us. A lot of stuff that I do like to keep in chest though, like the Witchery stuff and the Blood Magic stuff, that's Clip Addicts regardless. I need to put that back. Someone please remind me to put that back. It'll probably be clip addict in the comments reminding me. Um, so we need one of you. I need one of you. And then I need two sand. One, two. And then we need slime ball. And then we need some melon. Please say I got some. Yes, that's good. I thought it was all going to be over in the potion store then. Uh, so let's have a look. One. Two, three, four, five, six, wand, gimme, um, let's have a look, we should have some, honest to god, I cannot remember what this stuff's called now, um, living rock, oh, we have one living rock, that's like the perfect amount needed for this, Right, okay, so boom. Oh shit me, you go fast. Oh, that's where the mana lens is from. I was wondering where that was from. Ta-da! Right, okay, you see, you're ready. Uh. Uh. Rune of Summer! Okay, we need more living rock, I've just figured that out. Um, we have a daisy down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, done. Right, that'll turn into living rock real quick. And um, what do we need now? So we need a rune of fire. And hang on, do we need gear spirits for this? Because if we do, we're screwed. Ring of reaching far. No, we just need our mana to get sweet. So let's have a look at this bad boy. So we need two mana diamonds. We'll have a quick look and see if we got them. We need a rune of fire. Which we have in our hand. Do we have any diamonds of manners? Diamond of manners? Nope. Okay, so we're gonna have to grab some diamonds. Not a biggie. Not a biggie at all. There we go. Two diamonds. And then we go with squirt, squirt. Then we get two mana diamonds. Then we just need one piece of the living rocks. If you'd be so kind to change for me, change! Yeah, this trophy room is looking really nice. I also, I also remembered. We also have all of these trophies. I actually got a gas one earlier, which is what prompted me to remember. Oh, we got skeleton, blaze, we got zombie one, spider, ghast, uh, enderman. So I kind of want to have a place for all them trophies as well. Ideally, this would be like the trophy rooms where we'd have it all. So I'm not sure where, like if we stick them down in here or something. And just have them around the outside. I did at one point as well have all of the skulls, but then the mod got removed from the pack. So unfortunately, don't have that one anymore. All right, let's quickly get this one going. One, two, three, four. Two. Bam, 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 bam. This thing goes so fast. It's crazy. Look at it. Love it. It's awesome. Right. Uh. Oh, we got two Rune of Pride. Sweet. So we can actually make another one of them. Not that we need to. I wonder if we stack them. Wait, let's see what these can be used for, first of all. We used to make Charm of the Diva. I don't know what that does. Um, what? What? That takes so much stuff. Orchid. I'm going to have to look into that. Where is it? Where is it? That is crazy. 
Right, index. Let's have a look, because that looks crazy. Right. Orchard. While going mining is all good, a renewable means of getting ore is due. The orchard will use a massive amount of mana to generate ores in nearby stone blocks. The ores it generates are random, but it seems to be based towards more common ores rather than rarer ones. I kind of want to make that. That sounds so cool. But anyway, we're going to make... Let's make two rings of far reach. We'll give the other one to someone else. Or we'll have a backup. Or they'll stack. <laughs> right, so if we equip... Oh, I can't equip it. These can sit in my inventory. That's not too much of a big problem. Don't need the band of mana on really anymore either. So we can have a look. See how far we can reach with this. That's given us quite a bit of reach. Right, let's just reach to there. Oh, wow. They stack. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is so cool. Look how far I can way I can reach. I want more of them. Right, so we need an activation crystal. So I can't remember the last time I used all my blood magic stuff. I don't know where half of it is. Which is a real shame. So, let's have a look. We need... Activation crystal? I don't know where... I don't know where it would be. It's how long since I've been done, done blood magic. Um, activation... This is a weak activation crystal. Awakened. Yeah, that's a bit more complex. Uh, lava crystal. Lava crystal is done like so. That's not too bad. We can grab some buckets of lava, I'm sure. Hey, three, one, two, three. And then what else do we need? We need two obsidian, one diamond. Luckily, we have one diamond left. Diamond, one. Um, obsidian. Two, and then glass. Two also. For some reason, I got 12 obsidian there, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. What? I thought these worked in my inventory. Surely they do. Come on. There we go. There we go. I knew they worked in my inventory. I knew I didn't have to equip it. Awesome. Right, okay, so let's quickly go to a crafting table. It didn't seem to have too much lags that time. Uh, but let's go into here now. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. We should have all the stuff. You down there. You, you. One, two, and then we'll just borrow that quickly. Please say that's just not going to be bound to clip at it. Okay, that should be bound to me. Oh, it just says unnamed. Hmm, peculiar. Right, so we're going to quickly go b borrow his altar thing again. And then we'll place, replace his orb down there. Just while I remember why we're over here. So we're going to chuck that in there. That's going to turn into that. That only takes 10,000 LP. That shouldn't take that long. And then we've got an activation crystal. We'll replace the Archmage's blood orb. And then we're probably going to clear that up for tonight. This has gone all weird. Ha <laughs> That's so cool. There you go. That's turned into an activation crystal. So we'll take that and place that back for him. There we go. We remember to replace his stuff. Good for us. Um... So let's run down into here. So now, now this, wait, wait, this way. This should now, in theory, fill up with its own blood. You feel a pull, but you're weak, too weak to push any further. What? Hmm. That is very confusing stuff. I'm going to have to go look into that and see exactly what we need to be doing to get that going. If we need this one, I'm going to be very mad. I'm going to be very upset. Um, hopefully we don't. Because I don't even know how to get half of this stuff. 
Like, the Aether, where do you get that from? Oh, that's not too bad to make, actually. It's the Demon Blood Shard, which is going to be the pain. Oh, we can replace that with another star. We could replace that with another star. So that might not be too bad. Let's have a look. I don't know how you do the alchemy things. That's the problem. Arcane plinth, pedestal. Alchemist. Alchemical chemistry set. Sweet. I'm pretty sure. Do we have any brewing stands? No, but we've got... We've got some blaze rods. Uh, we need some cobble. I think it's cobble. Cobble. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's just cobble. So one, two, three, cobble. And then we need two obsidian, which we already have on us. And then we need a crystal, which we have here. So we're not going to steal clip addicts anymore. You know what? I'm going to put a crafting table over here as well, because there's a lot of crafting crap that I have to do. And it's just going to get annoying if I have to keep running back all the time. So we're going to go like that. Oh, wait, we need to make the other thing first. <laughs> Whoops. One, two, three. There. Done. There. Done. Done. Done? Place that there for a minute. We can place that in there. And then, where is it? Where is the activation crystal? So, we need to place weak activation crystal. We can make this stuff with a simple cataclyst. Gunpowder, two redstone, sugar, and glowstone dust. That's not going to be too bad. You know what? I'm going to leave that for this episode. And the next episode, we're going to go into a load of alchemy. I'll get all the stuff ready for it. And then we'll do a ton of alchemy together and explore blood magic alchemy um, as a team. Uh, but that is going to be it for the episode, guys. I'm going to go do some research and find out why that wasn't working as well. I'm pretty sure all you had to do was use a weak activation crystal. Um... But I don't know. We'll find out. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have a very fantastic day. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And the Twitter, Twitter and Facebook is down in the description below. Twitter is the best way to contact me. Uh, but that is it. So I hope yourselves have a very fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.